Hello everyone and welcome back to our bond. Let's play a Chrono Cross with all the endings. I am the Flightless Bird and this is your story based gaming channel. And the first ending that we are going to try to conquer after beating the game with the not so good ending, I guess you could call it, is the ending that takes place after you save Kid and you have Nikki and Razzy in your party. And the reason this is our first ending that we're going for is because I recruited Nikki in our second playthrough without realizing that he's actually required for one of the endings. So what we're going to do, we're going to try to beat the game with Mojo, Nikki, and Razzly. And after we beat the game, I'm going to restart the game on a continue plus. I'm going to go back into Viper Manor, and this time we're going to get Guile. And we're also going to pick up Glenn by not helping Kid. Unfortunately, to get this ending, you kind of have to ha help Kid, and you kind of have to have Nikki. So it kind of threw a wrench in my plans. But anyway, let's give this a shot. And this may, like I said, this may be our toughest ending yet because we're still kind of weak. We still don't have rainbow weapons. We still don't have a lot of stone weapons. And yeah, this may be tough. <music> to the darkness of time. Also, because I like to say that we try for variety in our playthroughs, we are using Mojo instead of Surge. You know, just if things couldn't be more difficult, we just decide to make it more difficult for ourselves. The problem is, I believe that all the enemies in the New Game Plus mode, they have twice their HP value. And I've kind of seen that so far in our playthroughs. And we don't have, like, the best weapons, so yeah. Alright, so Mojo, Nikki, and Razley. Mojo is kind of our powerhouse because he's the only one that has a rainbow weapon in the Spectral Glow. And yeah, he's doing some damage at least. Uh, Nikki, I... he's got a Mithril Pick. So, yeah, not gonna do as much damage, unfortunately. And this thing is already starting to hit us. Uh, green elements to everyone. Yay! Uh, I miss here. I miss there. Oh, man, that's just bad. Uh, Razzly, uh doesn't have the best hit percentage. And her attacks are just pathetic. Man, this could be hard. So it looks like our saving grace is going to be from Mojo. Because I don't think anyone besides Mojo can actually help us here. Uh, what are we going to do? Razzheart? A gift from the heart. That, that's I think that's a healing skill. Razzar is an attack. Why don't we go ahead and give a... Poison is not that big of a concern, though. Yeah, I, I'm actually okay with that. Poison is not a really big concern of mine. Oh, we really need... Oh, we really need Mojo to hit. Because if Mojo's not hitting, we're in trouble. Like, seriously in trouble. I also did not think of giving someone a uh, green plate because I had forgotten about that. So yeah, like I said, this could be a really, really tough fight. Uh, let's go ahead and cure plus Mojo. Razzly's good magic stat helping out here. Uh, Nikki, go ahead and attack. Yeah, that mithril pick is just not doing enough. We could iceberg. Good high res. I, I didn't really take my time to uh to go through all my stats, unfortunately, and make sure we have the right elements. But let's go ahead and free fall. Yeah, rock on, dude. That was pretty good. I will take that. Uh Mojo, you're up. I can actually speed things up a little, which is nice. You see, Mojo's doing the most damage by far. That Spectral Glove is really helping out. Tornado kind of hurt, so let's get Razzly up. And we can do a... I don't think we need this Super Heal Plus, but we can do a Heal Law here. A Mojo is not ready yet, so Nikki, uh, just go for a three. Good job. And Mojo, your turn to attack. Pretty good, pretty good. Like I said, I think Mojo is going to help win us this fight. Ooh, that one hurt. Uh, let's see here. 
And seal all, that's probably not the best. Inferno plus three, probably the best thing to do. Gets rid of the green fuel. Actually didn't do a lot of damage. Yeah, uh, Mojo is purely built for uh, damage at the moment. Razzly, I really need to cure a Mojo. Can you uh, take care of that? Does anyone else really need to cure? I don't think so. So let's just go with a cure plus. Uh, Nikki, you up? Rock on, dude. Yeah, basically I have Mojo and Nikki built for offense, uh, physical attacks. I have Razzly built for magic. And of course I have Mojo built for uh, attacks as well. Uh, let's see here, I really need another heal. And Mojo, I need you to hit please. Thank you. I kind of have to hold my breath every single time he attacks because I really, 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 really need him to hit some, uh, hit the enemy. Take you with an Inferno. Ah, damage is just not there. There's a Carnivore. That did hurt a bit. I'm actually kind of worried about that because that actually hurt enough where if you were to do something else, it could probably kill someone. Uh, Nikki. Good job, that's good 200 damage. Uh, Mojo, you up? Please hit, please hit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 639 damage, very good. Yeah, really, really, really relying on that Spectral Glove by far. Hit it two, hit it three. Uh, let me get a another you know, cure plus. We have one on Mojo. This is really like an attrition fight because either Mojo cracks this thing open or Lavos two wins. Lavos two, uh, the de dream devourer, right? Uh, yeah, that, I mean that's basically the bottom line. Either w two things are gonna happen. Either it's going to kill us because we run out of heals, or Mojo is going to kill it. Uh, let's see, Razzly, go for two, go for two, miss, that's unfortunate. Um, you don't have enough stamina yet. You're up, you can go for a couple threes, or one and miss. Oh, there's that miss. I swear, every single miss brings us closer and closer to death. Okay, good job, Mojo. Nikki? Rock on. Razzly? Taking a little chance here. Okay, chance paid off. Uh, how about a recover all? You don't have, yes you do, okay good. Like I said, one of my things that I wanna do in this, uh, in this celebration of the Chrono Cross endings is to try to beat the Dream Devourer with as many different characters as possible. And I know that's not possible in some ways because there's one ending, for example, that requires only Surge. But it is something that I'm gonna try to do as much as I can. Try to alternate, you know, who gets the glory by beating the Dream Devourer. Ooh, nice crit. That was excellent. Okay. And if we can kill the Dream Devourer in this playthrough, then what I'm gonna probably do, oh, we shifted to yellow elements. That's a good thing, right? That means we're hurting it. Oh, look at all those yellows. Ah, oh, that one hurt. Oh, that one hurt a lot because I need to heal all first. Sprain is the worst element. Um, Nikki, why don't you go ahead and de-sprain? Uh, Moja? So if I can win this fight, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get all the endings on, you know, after we continue plus to make it so that the only endings that we're going to have to do another new game for is going to be uh, Chrono's, en uh, not Chrono, uh, Surge's ending. And then I believe there's another ending uh, before Viper Manor. So that's what I'm going to try to work on. Uh, the last ending we're going to get is going to be Surge's solo ending. That is for sure. Because I'm going to need 
surge to have the most power as humanly possible. Because fighting this guy single-handed? Now, granted, you could probably put on a green plate so the first part of the fight is, you know, no big deal at all. Uh, but it is something we'll have to see. Okay, I'm going to purify Nikki here. I'll get rid of his brain and his poison. And then Nikki can go ahead and attack. So far, this has been a really good fight. Uh, Mojo has been very good with his Spectral Glove. And Razley has been a good healer. And Nikki's been a good sort of like in-between of, you know, doing a little bit of extra damage and also keeping the party afloat. The music here is so weird because there is no music. It, it's it's almost freaky in that. Oh, Nikki. Okay, Nikki's sprained. I, I can live with Nikki being sprained. I can't live with Mojo being sprained. Uh, let's see here. I really should have done a better job with my uh, elements. I kind of just auto-allocated everyone. I should have gone through them all bit by bit. But I think we'll be okay. As long as we don't miss. Okay, we're not missing. That's good. Deluge. Uh, Razzly. I thought I just healed all. And Razzly is almost dead. That's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, cure all. Okay. That was huge. Yeah, having... Having uh, Nikki in our party is really helpful because he's a blue element. Mojo's got the blue status. Why don't we go ahead and get rid of the flu here? How to fight these elements is not easy. And what's worse is our stamina as far as are just atrocious right now. Another tornado really wrecking us up pretty hard. Ah, uh, Mojo, that miss hurts. That hurts me, man. Okay, let's do a recover all here with Nikki. Try to top off our HPs just a little. Actually, I think that did more than just a little. That was really, really good. Okay, here's an earthquake. What we really need is to not see a yellow pop up on Mojo. No yellows. Perfect. But Razzly has a yellow and she is... She's not in a good place right now. She's got so many different things on her. Uh, I think Nikki has... Mojo, do you have a Purify? I know someone has a Purify. He has two Purifies. Uh, let's go ahead and Purify Razzly here. I know that takes back some of our attacks, but at the same time... Like I said, we're really hurting at the moment. Razzly is just doing nothing with her single attacks. Uh, let's see. We don't have any cure alls. We don't have any heal alls. Uh, we don't have any heal pluses. I could tornado here to do some extra damage. I could inferno. Time to return the favor. All those tornadoes you hit me with. 256 damage. That's not enough. Uh, Nikki, I really need some cures here, buddy. Okay. Mojo, please don't miss. Actually, I'm going to go with the two just so you don't miss. And that's funny because you know my history of twos. I miss more twos and threes, I think, in this playthrough. Okay, the Earthquake did not... How is it that Razzly just took that much damage? I mean, I, I'm almost positive that said like 100 damage and it took 300 damage off of her. Uh, both Nikki and Mojo are spraying. This is bad. This is really, really bad at this moment. I don't have a sig I don't have an easy way to like do damage at this point. Uh, let's see. I need a brace. I think what I need to do in the future is make sure we have protection from uh, yellow status effects because those are just killing me at the moment. Come on, Mojo! Come on, Mojo! I need a killing. Oh, that was nice. Fortunately, it wasn't a killing blow. We have to be getting close though, right? Is an Omega Blue? Urgh. Urgh, that hurt. Um, uh, cure is not gonna do it. A cure plus minus one though will. Fantastic. 
Mojo, you're still not ready yet. Nikki, you need to get rid of that spring. Brace yourself. And Mojo, continue attack. Now, if I lose this, I think there is a way to like do this better, and that is with these level eight elements. I really should have stacked those level eight elements with, you know, cure pluses, heal pluses, heal walls, things like that. Nikki is now, is that Flood? I think it's Flood. Yeah, that's Flood. Let's go ahead and get rid of that from Nikki. And now let's attack with Nikki so that uh, Mojo can get his full, his full stamina up. It was a really tough fight so far. Let's not take any chances. Let's go for the guaranteed hits. Same with Nikki. Oh, eat the earthquakes! Burn. Oh, that's so horrible. Every single person got hit with the yellow element. God stinks. So. I don't know exactly what the element does, but I'm pretty sure it makes it so your stamina bar goes up slower. Which is the worst possible thing, because it's basically like getting slow cast on you. And having slow cast on you is not good, because that just means more attacks for your enemy. Um, I really need to heal here. I don't know exactly what to do. This may be where we die. Nope, we got a heal all. Okay, good. That should keep us afloat at least another round. Razley, you're full, so that's good. Another upheaval, that's not bad. That's a single target attack. And, okay, that was, could have been a lot worse. Razzly missing those stinks horribly. Two, three, two. Oh, he missed the three after he hit the two. It's an 87% chance, Mojo. Come on, buddy. You can't be missing attacks like that against the final boss. Against probably the toughest fight we'll have in the entire game. I mean, come on. Oh, Razzly, what can you do? You see, it's things like this, like Magnify plus two. If those were heals, We'd be much better off. You know what I should do? I should do a diminish here. Because this guy is doing nothing but casting spells. So if I do that, that'll hopefully keep us alive a little bit longer. See, that did significantly less damage. Okay, that, that actually is a good idea. Why are we missing all our threes? What's going on, you guys? Come on, please don't be missing our threes. Wait, I think we just won it. Woohoo! I'm sorry, but that was not an easy fight. There's so many things that could have gone wrong in that fight. Yeah, that, that was actually legit hard. But now that we know we can beat it, we know that we can get the other endings. As long as we can have as long as we have someone who can wear a spectral glove. That seems to be the uh, the key ingredient. Woohoo! Ending number two. Well, I don't know what endings they are officially. It's just our second ending. Let's see what happens. Lisa shop. Come on, Lisa. What are you doing? We won't be able to get good seats if we don't leave now. I'm sorry. I seem to have misplaced the tickets. Where could they be? What? I don't believe this. Hurry up and find them. We'll be standing all the way in the back at this rate. But I never knew she was so talented. Nikki was almost begging her to join. What amazes me is that he picked her. Why didn't he pick me? Who did he pick? My, my. Don't we have an ego? Anyway, I still can't find the tickets. 
Wait, I found them. I should tell her they were in my pocket. Okay, Lena, let's go. Yeah, come on. We have to hurry. Wait for me. I'm the one with the tickets. <laughs> Huh? I thought I heard some yelling out here. There's so much hustle and bustle outside. Is there something going on today? Ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for. The Magical Dreamers concert featuring Nikki is about to begin. I would like to take this moment to extend my apologies for the unforeseen delay. Please enjoy the show. All right, another concert. I could dig that. To all you rockers out here in Tamina, many thanks for coming out to see your gig. I hope you're all having a great time at the Viper Festival. At this time, I'd like to introduce some of our new brand members. On percussion, Surge. On the way, we're, we're rocking out. Oh, this is great. I'm more of a piano guy myself, but I, I, I played the drums as a kid. Yeah, in high school. In high school, I was a part of a uh, steel drum band. I actually played during a halftime show of a uh, college football game, which was really, really cool. And our vocals, we have Kid. Oh, is she singing? Really? Oi, everyone. I'm the new vocalist for the Magical Dreamers. Kid's my name. You guys ready to rock? And last but not least, our mascot, Vesely. Hey, Razzles. Tee hee. Hi, everyone. Hi, Razzly. I like you, Razzly. With our new powerful lineup, we're gonna rock you out of this world. And now, our opening number. Da, 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 da. God, the soundtrack is so good in this game. I got Surge in background actually playing the drums. Although it would have been nice if we could hear a kid actually sing. You know, get a vocalist here and actually play words to the song. But oh well. I gotta go. Ah, oh, it's so cool. Rock on, my friends. Rock on. So, what I think I'm gonna do for the next innings that we do. Instead of showing the whole Lavos fight, now that we know we can beat the Lavos fight without Surge, I'm going to just show like a fast forwarded version of it. So that way you know that we fought it, but at the same time you're not watching the entire thing. Oh yeah, Lynx is like, dudes, aren't you gonna come like to Fort Trigonia and like fight me already? Hello? Are you guys coming? <laughs> That's great. I'm so glad they had that part in there because that just made the entire ending for me. Finn. So that is now two endings down out of, I think, 11. And like I said, in the, uh, in the future, I'm going to show the fights happen at a much faster rate. So that way, 
you don't see the entire fight from beginning to end. But, you know, hey, I, I hope you enjoyed that fight because, you know, it was a lot of fun. Okay, what am I going to save over? I'll save over this one. And just to see if continue plus works the way I think it does. Because I think what you can do is a uh, new game plus is you start over from the beginning with uh, with a completed save file. I think um, I don't think you can do a new game plus from from the save. So let me try it. So do a continue. And then here. And let's see what happens. It's my first time seeing this, so I thought I'd show it to you guys. Okay, so new game plus and continue plus. What is the difference between the two? So if we do continue plus, what happens? The game data has been completed. The state lets you continue the game in a strong state. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> oh, so we can do... I didn't mean to do... Ah, I just did a new game. Well, anyway, we'll just do a new game plus on that, and uh, yeah, we'll fire through. All right, well, this is a uh, this is your story based gaming channel, and I'm the Flight is Bird, and this is our blind let's play of Chrono Cross with all the endings. Uh, the next time I see you, we'll begin in the next ending, the next ending, and you know, I'll probably save the final true ending and the ending with Surge for like the last two endings that we do or that we show on the channel at least. For this ending, you need to beat the game before you go to Fort Dragonia. And the party that I'm using is basically the Viper Manor type party. We have Guile in place of Surge, Lucia and Neo Fio. Now, I don't know if uh, you've caught our previous episodes, but one of the things I like to do is try to beat the game with different parties. So this just happens to be the party that we're using today. Now, unlike the previous Unlike the previous episode, though, where we showed the entire Dream Devourer fight, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this fight, and that way you can see us do it. But at the same time, we already know we can beat it. So just showing it over again from the start, even with major fast forwarding, uh, I'm in, by fast forward, I mean the game's fast forward, not the editing fast forward, is a little bit redundant. But yet, for those interested in watching us take down the Dream Devour with this new party, uh, yeah, you'll be able to see it. If you don't want to see it, just skip ahead a couple minutes. Probably shouldn't take long with our editing techniques to get through this fight quickly. Unless the fight takes a long time, in which case, yeah, that's probably a thing. If you're wondering about the strategy of this fight, by the way, with this party, uh, I really don't have one. I mean, Neo Feels probably going to be doing the brute of my work. Let's see how much damage he does. Yeah, that's that's bad. Um, I mean, he's our strongest person, and he's doing 250 damage a shot, whereas Mojo was doing 700 damage on crits. So this fight actually is maybe a little more difficult than the previous fight, but anyway, I'm going to speed it along, and then I'll see you at the ending. So with this ending, uh, Guile, Lucia, and Neo Fio. Is it Neo Fio or Neo Fio? I'm not really sure on that. But anyway, so on this fight, you know, it's really, really not as bad as I thought. Because Guile, Guile can do some damage. And Neo Field, that little plant can also do some big damage. Uh, but, you know, Lukia, fortunately Lukia just, I mean, I thought Lukia would do a lot more damage than she did. Especially since I believe she's a black element. But she just was not doing as much damage. And the bottom line here is it, there was a there's a real battle of sustainage um, between healing and not healing. And when we have someone, you know, who can heal, when you have these magic parties, I mean, it, it works out really well. And it's weird because at some point in the game, uh, physical attacks stop being as i mean physical attacks are more effective than magical attacks is what i meant and really it's the uh the special skills you know the t5s the t7s 
those are the ones that really stand out when it comes to doing major damage. Uh, I believe in a future video, once we get Glenn, uh, we go to the final boss and Glenn's doing like 1200 damage with his T7. And that's just a ton of damage. However, magic can be very effective, but only, only when it's used on the opposite of element, it seems. So against, you know, the Time Devourer, unless you're using specific black element spells you know inferno and stuff like that i mean 153 damage on inferno that's just not good so in reality you know what you want to do is just keep hitting it with physical attacks because as you can see our inferno is doing less than 200 damage just don't cut it long term but thankfully we're able to power way through And the Dream Devourer falls. That fight took about, I'd say about eight minutes or so. It was a, uh, it was an interesting fight to say the least because I thought Neo Feel would be the one doing the most damage. But as the fight went on, I got the feeling that Guile was actually doing a better job. So yeah, a uh, really interesting fight there. Not too hard, unlike the first fight. That one just took a little bit of time. I was much better prepared as far as elements go as well. Some early diminishes really, uh, really slows down the time devour. And, you know, I just beat him over the head repeatedly. So, yeah, uh, we got through it. And now for our next ending. It looks a lot like our previous ending, starting in the Lisa shop. Hi, Serge. Looks like you're getting used to working here. Wait, you're working with Lisa now? Daddy, don't tell me you're going out you're going out to gather mushrooms again. Well, now that Serge is helping out, I have a lot of free time on my hands. But what are what about doing the inventory? You're the one who said there's always work to be done at the element shops. Uh don't worry about it. At my age, you have to live a little. Anyway, you two sure make a great couple. That's one way of my mind. Ha 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 ha. Daddy, don't jump to the conclusion so fast. Oh, I just realized because we don't have the astral amulet, we never could go back to our original home. So we kind of got stuck in this dimension, which means, oh, we hooked up with Lisa. Huh. Well, I'm off to Shadow Forest. Be careful and come back before dinner. Daddy still can't get enough of those mushrooms. Oh, Lisa's a really cute girl, though. Oh, yeah, uh... You know? Well, I guess it's time to get down to business. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Anyway. Sorry, I, I love the movie Milan. What can I say? The, the animate Milan. Um, excuse me. You have a customer? Oh, Lena. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were here. Hmm. What's so good about Terminate anyway? I can't believe he decided to work here. Even though I found him a job in Arnie. Oh, Serge rejected her for Lisa. Oh, that's spicy. Hmm? Did you say something, Lena? I can't hear you. What happened to your loud, annoying voice? Oh! oh, oh. He's about to slap someone. Oh my. I think this helmet may be rotten. Is this the kind of me merchandise you sell to your customers? Speaking of rotten, there was an awful stink just as you walked in. No, I'm pretty sure the smell is coming from the shop. Coming from your rotten personality. Oh, there's about to be cat fighting here. Lena, is it time you went home? Alone? All by yourself? With no one to walk you home? Oh man, this is cold. Jeez. The jealousy is just all the dots. Yeah, all the dots indeed. Ah, uh, why does it have to turn out like this? the weird thing though is i get the feeling that surge is never destined to be with lena anyway like you know surge's true true person is kid like you know that's that's just kind of the way i feel i don't know how do you guys feel about that who do you think surge's true fate lies in hmm then again we haven't seen all the endings yet by the way look at what you chop those in the background oh it's so cool why the bloody heck do i have to do this Stop complaining, Bloody Rose. 
a spy must conduct field investigations. Since when did I become a spy? And quit it with the codename stuff. You do not like it? Then how about Vid Scorpion? I never knew that the, 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 the chef was Norris. Oh, that's so cool. That's not the bloody point. Don't cha, slack off, newbies. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, fine, I'll do it. You did save my life by getting me the height of humor, I suppose. Oh, how about that? She did survive. But none of that codename rubbish. Darn it. Now when heck did search of them go? So in this in this ending Surge got left behind. What? Oh <laughs> Oh that's so great. Oh Pierre's with salt and pepper. Oh this is awesome. Is something wrongly wrong, Monsieur Pierre? This is it. There is no turning back now. Shake it. Pierre, salt. Did you just see what links? We'll teach you a lesson about general fight for spice. I mean, spite. Shake it and say your prayers. Not that'll do you any good. Monsieur Pierre, let us be on our way. Actually, moi seem to have an urgent upset stomach from last night's party at Monsieur Zappas. It is not a good idea for moi to run. Are you seriously serious about being a hero? <laughs> That's pathetic. Oh, this this is one of my favorite endings so far. This is great. It'd be cool if we actually had to play as them. Oh, unfortunately not. But please, do not run. It'd just be really neat, though, if you had to play as Pierre, Salt, and Pepper, and you had to fight Lynx as those three. Huh? Oh, what just happened? Uh, what are we doing out here? Shake it. Uh, what was so high up? Is this thing floating? Our bodies seem to have passed through the floor just now. The, this sure is some fort. Huh, Pierre? All the dots? Oh, uh, what's shaking, Pierre? You all right? You don't look so good. Who knows if there'll be a toilet up ahead. Shake it and hold it in. Moi, should be fine. Moi, I'm a hero. I I'll do mon best. Uh, we, we, sh we shook a, a lot of cash to hire you. You better. Oh, he's a mercenary. He's not even a hero. Such a fake. So someone, shake it and open that door. We shall leave this to you, Papor. Well, why me? Ta-ta-ta. Moi say we decide this with a game of rock, paper, and scissors. That would be appropriate, non? A good, good idea. You're a true hero, right? Okay, ready? Rock, paper, scissor. Shake. All the dots. It is you, Monsieur Pierre. Oh, Ma, feel the squirts coming on. Squirts? Oh, the pain, the pain. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's shake another game. Oi, we, 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 indeed. All the dots. Times two. <laughs> Pierre is so useless. Oh my gosh. The three of them were never heard from again. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Then I like that ending. That was a cool ending. Okay, so what I'm probably going to do is I'm gonna, probably going to put a couple episodes back to back here. Uh, because... You know, since we are going to speed through the boss fights, you know, each one doesn't need to be its own episode. Uh, a lot like what we did with Chrono Trigger. Although Chrono Trigger, I skipped the boss fight entirely. Alright, well, my name is Flyless Bird. This is Toybeast Gaming Channel, and I'll see you in the next ending, which probably will appear as soon as I'm done talking. So I don't know why I just gave my outro. But anyway, see you soon.
Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter, you are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.